Hello people and welcome to the channel. Virtual Desktop is the best solution for playing all your PC VR games wirelessly on your Quest or Pico headsets. With the recent version 1.26 and 1.27 updates, the developer, Guy Godin, has implemented some cutting edge features into this app that radically changed the way it performs. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to set up Virtual Desktop on your headset in three easy steps, then do a deep dive into the best settings to optimize your experience and really push your PC and VR headset to the graphical maximum. This is gonna be a good one, people, so let's get straight into it. And remember, we're born to respawn. If you own a Meta headset, there are three easy steps to get virtual desktop working. However, if you own a Pico headset, then there are only two steps to get you up and running. So, step one, go to the virtual desktop website in your browser. Link is in the description below. Download and install the virtual desktop streamer app. I will go through all the settings you need later in this video. Step two, Turn on your Meta or Pico headset and head to the store. Search for Virtual Desktop, purchase and install the app on your headset. Currently, it only costs £15 in the UK or $20 in the US. I'm going to say it now because I know I'll get asked in the comments, you have to buy Virtual Desktop in the store on your headset. This is the only version that allows wireless PC VR gaming. If you already own Virtual Desktop via Steam, then you'll have to buy it again, sorry. Now, if you own a Pico headset, that's all you need to do and can skip the next step. How quick was that? Step three, if you own a Meta headset, you will need to install the Oculus PC app. Go to the Meta website, link in the description, download and install. It's about 12 gigabytes, so while you're waiting, go make a cup of tea, if you're British, or a cup of coffee, if you're not. Once downloaded and installed, well, that's it. You are now ready to play all your Steam, Oculus, and Vive port games wirelessly on your standalone headset. Fire up Virtual Desktop, the streamer app may require a quick update and you are good to go. I'm now going to do a deep dive into all the virtual desktop settings that you will need to tweak to make the most of your wireless experience. Let's open the streamer app on PC and have a look, shall we? On your taskbar, go to hidden icons, right click on the streamer app and select settings. This brings up the streamer app on your desktop. Make sure you are running version 1.27.1. .1. You can see which version you are running in the bottom left of the streamer app. Click on accounts. This is where you need to input your Oculus, Pico and Vive port IDs. Next, jump to options and select your preferred codec. I will go into this more when we open virtual desktop on your headset, so just leave it on automatic for now. You have gamepad emulation. Virtual desktop now supports the Sony DualSense as well as the Xbox pad. Let's skip to the right and copy my settings. Automatically adjust bitrate is important and Guy Godin himself recommends that you leave this box checked, as shown in the comment on screen. You can allow access to video files on your PC if you want to watch any media you have stored there. Lastly, we have the About tab, which will show your PC specs, check for interfering apps and check for updates. And that's it for the streamer app. Now we may come back later and fiddle with the codec, but let's pop on the headset and fire up Virtual Desktop. If it's your first time, the Stream app may need an update. Then we are ready to go and you will see your PC's desktop. Press and hold the left Oculus button or double tap the far left Pico button to bring up Virtual Desktop's menu. Then settings, please uncheck the Use Optimal Resolution box here. I use twin 4K monitors and if you leave this checked, it will screw up your resolution and cause you headaches. Now, the streaming tab. This is where you want to spend most of your time getting your wireless game streaming set up for perfection. Remember the streamer tab codec settings? My recommendation is to set the codec to H.264+. I'll explain why in a minute. Set the VR graphics quality to match your GPU. I have an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, so I have this set to high. VR frame rate is set to 90 frames per second. You can fiddle with this setting later, but please follow my recommendations just for now. Now, VR bitrate. If you have H.264, HEVC or HEVC 10 bit selected on the streamer app, 
the maximum bitrate you can select is 150 megabits per second. However, if you have selected H.264 Plus on the Streamer app, you can crank this all the way up to 400 megabits per second. So do that now. Virtual Desktop is quite clever, so it can automatically detect the best bitrate for your setup. As you can see here, my maximum bitrate as selected by Virtual Desktop is 358 megabits per second, which is pretty good. Sharpening I'd leave at 75%, Gamma at 1, Synchronous Space Warp always enabled. SSW is a technique where any frame rate drops are smoothed out by extrapolating missing frames. It works very well in Virtual Desktop, but if you see ghosting or shimmering, then maybe switch it off for that particular game. Snapdragon Game Super Resolution on. Snapdragon GSR is a single pass, spatial aware super resolution technique developed by Qualcomm Snapdragon Studios to achieve optimal super scaling quality at the best performance and power savings. This is the biggest innovation to be incorporated into virtual desktop and basically gives you RTX 4090 quality graphics on much more humble GPUs. Quite frankly, it's astonishing. Leave everything else unchecked except track controllers and increase color vibrance. The last box is the show performance overlay and this will give you all the information on how virtual desktop is performing in real time and is an essential tool for tweaking your wireless gaming performance. So I'm going to fire up the incredible Red Matter 2 on PC, show you just how amazing it looks and also show you how smoothly and effortlessly virtual desktop handles wireless game streaming with the setup I have recommended. Ready? Let's get into it then. All footage recorded in headset on Meta Quest 2. I am pushing Virtual Desktop to its maximum here so that you can see SSW and Snapdragon game super resolution in full swing. Bitrate is a frankly knee trembling 358 megabits per second. When the frame rate indicator flashes yellow, SSW is active. All latencies are in the white. The game is running smoothly and without any hiccups which is incredible considering that not only is the Quest playing a PC VR game wirelessly, but also recording footage at the same time. It's frankly absurd. Before I get to my conclusion, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Plus, if you have enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and joining my channel membership for extra perks. Thanks. So, what do you think of Virtual Desktop's performance in this video? I find it astonishing that this app can run such a graphically intense game like Red Matter 2 so smoothly, utilizing all the tricks like SSW and Snapdragon GSR. However, if you do have any problems, please head over to my Discord channel, link in the description, where I have a Virtual Desktop frequently asked questions and also a helpline where you can ask for help in real time. More importantly though, what do you think? Do you think Virtual Desktop is the god of all wireless gaming? Do you prefer Meta's own Air Link solution? You know the drill, get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.